So I'm excited for today's projector review. This is the Orzen Boom 3. You can see this is the first all-in-one projector ever. Now I'm really excited to show you the design of this because not only is this a high quality projector with a built-in smart TV app OS system, but this also doubles up as a really powerful Bluetooth speaker with really cool looking design speakers at the back that we're going to showcase. And I'm gonna show you how it sounds because this is not just a really high quality projector, which is very well designed, but this is the best sounding projector I've ever come across. So let's go ahead and start off and take a look at the unboxing, but make sure to hit the link to see the full details, the specifications, and the latest pricing information. This comes in at roughly around $500 retail price on Amazon. So make sure to check it out and let's get into it. So in the box, you have yourself the user manual, the power plug, HDMI cable, and the remote control. You can see on the remote, it does have a dedicated Netflix button, which has a Netflix licensed app. And you can see also on the side of the box, this also has your top favorite apps pre-installed, so Prime Video, YouTube. Also a whole bunch of really cool features just listed on the side of the box, which we'll go through. And this is the projector itself. So it's a very nice two-tone black and silver projector. It does have a lens which doesn't have a lens cover. And I have to admit, this is a very clean and minimal design, which I very much like. On the bottom, you do have a little screw kickstand to elevate the position of the projector, as well as a quarter 20 inch thread in the middle, if you do want to ceiling mount this. With the ports on the back, you have yourself the power adapter, the headphone port, two USBs, two HDMIs, and the power button just on the right hand side. Now you're also wondering where are those visible speakers, the tweeters and the little mini sub. That is hidden behind this panel. So let me go ahead and show you how to take that off. So you can see there's a little cut just there in the fabric. That is the slot that you just pull this out from. And it's very simple. You simply just pull it out like so. And this will now display the 36 watt speakers, the little subwoofer just there. And I'm really excited to showcase how this sounds. I'm going to leave this off for the entire review of the projector so you can get the full sound quality on this, but make sure you use some headphones to try and get a better understanding of how this performs in terms of the audio quality. This does also have Dolby Audio. If you ever want to slot this back in, it's very simple. Just push it back in like so, and that's really it. So let's go ahead and set this up and see how it performs. Okay, so we are up and running. Now I just want to test out the fan noise because I know that is a hot question from you guys. You might not be able to hear it as clear as I do. There is a little bit of fan noise, but with the strength of these speakers, you are not going to hit any of the fan noise whatsoever when you do play back your content. You do have a very nice volume control at the top, which is illuminated with a LED light just around it. And there's a lot of daylight coming into the room. This is 500 ANSI lumens and you can still see it is pretty clear. But when I do play back my content, I'm gonna darken the room because that's going to be the most common use case for how you watch your content with projectors. But before we do that, let's just run through the OS and some of the settings. Okay, so this is based off of Smart TV OS. This is not an Android TV system. You can see it does have licensed Netflix, YouTube and Prime Video, which are the buttons on the remote control. If you wanted to download more apps, you can go into the App Store. This is not the Android or Google Play App Store. It's a bespoke version for Smart TV OS. There's a whole bunch of apps on here, but I do have to note, this doesn't have any licensed certifications for apps like Disney Plus or Apple TV, which I guess is one of the reasons why they do provide a HDMI cable in the box as well. So you can attach any other HDMI content streaming device like an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire Stick if you do want to watch those apps. And for me, that's not such a big issue as well. Most people will have those extra devices at home anyway. And if you just want to use your existing streaming devices, then that's going to be no issue whatsoever. You also have a resource manager. So if you do connect a USB stick to play back your photos, videos, files, you can do that from here. If you want to screencast from your Android devices, then you can also do that from there. You have a browser. And if we go into settings, you can connect to your Wi-Fi, you can connect Bluetooth devices, set your input via the HDMI. Let's just take a look at some of these options here. If we go back, if we go into the picture settings, you can do auto keystone correction, manual, image zoom, which I always value anytime a projector has this option, just so that you can fit this into your screen, depending on the distance you do set your projector at. 
So you can set the zoom levels. It's a digital zoom, it goes down to about 50%. Then you can bring it back to 100%. Just gonna quickly cycle through some of the keystone correction settings here, just so you can see how they look. We have autofocus, focus settings, and then projection mode as well, depending on where you do position your projector. Display and sound, if we go into here, you can also set the picture modes. So right now, this is on user selection. So I've adjusted this for my room. So you can customize the brightness, contrast, saturation, or sharpness. You can also cycle through some preset ones, cinema, sport, vivid, standard, and game. Or you can set your own custom user options, which I think is great. Likewise, you can also adjust the sound mode. I'm going to be playing back the audio whilst it's on standard, just so you can see how the default settings and how great this sounds on standard. But if you want to have the sound mode on any of these categories to match your content, then you can easily do that. Sound output is going to be coming from the speaker, but you can also set the output to be any one of these other ones. I've also selected Dolby Digital Plus, which is DD Plus. Auto volume in case you do want to have the projector adjust the volume settings when it does include a lot of loud noises in your movies, for example, compared to like the softer dialogues, then this can adjust that manually. And I've turned the key tone sounds off from the remote control. System settings, I also recommend you always do a software update to make sure you have the latest firmware installed. I also did this to make sure everything is working smoothly. You can also upgrade the USB disk if you do connect it into the correct format. Then you can also restore back to factory settings if you need to. So that's pretty much everything from the settings. Let's go ahead and play back some content and see how this performs. So I'll start off with a video and then I'm going to play back some audio samples as a speaker with some music just so you can hear that. And then hopefully that will give you an idea of the whole package of why this is the world's first all-in-one projector. you saw and you heard how powerful that is the quality on this is amazing 500 ANSI lumens is doing a great job in a very dark room and you can see here the colors the vividness everything set onto my user custom settings it's very bright and this is something that really brings home the cinema into your own bedroom this also has HDR 10 and you also in combination with Dolby audio makes it feel like you do bring the movies back home to your room viewing angles are also great just look at this that looks stunning i really can't fault the video quality on this but of course not just how great the video is but how great the audio is so what i want to do next is play back some music and really showcase the full capabilities of how it sounds so make sure you get your headphones in and let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's a war outside fighting demons. Every skin plotting on me for no reason. Thought I told you that we ball in a day. Ay. Going up, we ain't falling a day, yo. Are you down for the ride? Let me know. Hold on tight and I won't let you go. You know we're calling the trouble. And you know I'll be there for you every time. I've been fighting. Make it 
so there you have it i hope you heard how clear how loud how punchy this actually sounds i only had this at 50 percent volume and even then it was really loud and i probably couldn't even go higher if i play some music at 100 percent I'd probably bring the house down. That's how powerful the Boom 3 actually is. So paired with the stunning visuals and the audio quality, I really see this as one of my favorite projectors I've ever reviewed. And it's no wonder why this has had so much positive feedback online. So I always recommend to hit the link in the description to check it out for yourself if you are really interested in getting a brand new home theater system set up. As always, if there's any other comments or questions you have, make sure to ask them down below. I review a whole lot of projectors as well as all things tech, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Like this video and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.